we know that a linear response is just a simple straight line. It moves from one value to another. An exponential curve is exactly that, a curve. Here's a linear graph on the left of the screen. You can now see an exponential curve on the right. Human hearing is the opposite to an exponential response, and that's logarithmic. So for audio mixing, an exponential response within a mixer gives a much smoother volume control that plays into how we perceive sound. If we look at the graphic on screen, you can see a logarithmic curve. And if we overlay an exponential curve, we can take an average of those two curves and that gives us a linear line between the two. That leads us on to looking at linear and exponential mixers. And these were originally introduced by Dopfer in the 1990s. We'll take a split of a simple triangle wave into two Dopfer mixers that we've got on screen. And I'll sweep the volume up on each mixer and let's listen to the rising and the falling volume. So I'm going to split the cable with a stackable. I'm going to set the output on both mixers to be full. And we'll start with taking the linear mixer into our output and our oscilloscope. Here's a simple sweep of the triangle going into input one on the linear mixer. Moving to the exponential mixer, here's the same thing. If I set both the linear mixer and the exponential mixer to have their volume exactly halfway facing 12 o'clock, let's take our output from each mixer and listen to those differences. First linear, and exponential. Linear again, and exponential. Notice that the exponential sounds much quieter. Let's have a sweep through the linear and the exponential mixer's volumes and take another listen. First linear, The linear mixer seems to reach quite high volume quite quickly and the latter part of that knob's turn doesn't add much extra volume. Let's check out exponential. There's much more control to go against our logarithmic human hearing on the exponential mixer. It doesn't seem that that halfway point has sort of peaked in volume quite quickly. It seems like a much smoother control. However, lots of mixers on the market don't state what response they have. And importantly, any mixer can be used to mix any audio source or any CV source. You could even mix audio and CV within the same mixer. And that's something that the format really excels at.